Today we want to discuss or spend some time on the topic how to win the battle against manipulating spirits. Alright, so we just want to spend some time and the first passage of scripture that we look on from here is 2 Timothy 1 and verse 7. Right, so we first begin from the King James. It declares, For God has not given to us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Right, so from that we take the word of God. Now, if I were to look at the amplified version of this, it says, For God did not give for that God did not give us a spirit of fear or a spirit of timidity and cowardice, but he has given us a spirit of power, a spirit of love and of a sound mind or sound judgment and personal discipline abilities that result in a calm well-balanced mind and self-control wow the amplified really speak volumes right here trust me it really speaks volume right here and i'm really happy that you know it 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 reveals this wow it's 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 so much so if I am to look at another version, that's the TPT or the Passion Translation, right? Here it is saying, for God will never give you the spirit of fear. That is fear in men. The fear of God prevents us from fearing others. For God will not give us the spirit of fear. Wow. But the Holy Spirit who gives us and uh, gives you mighty power love and self-control it is sound mind or uh, watch this it can be the aramic the aramic can also be translated revelation light or instruction so god has give us power love a sound mind or self-control or revelation light my word so we want to look at that revelation light mm. revelation light brings a sound mind we want to just look at that and see what it says all right so um there's another passage of scripture we want to look at and it's job 3 and verse 25 job said for the thing which i greatly feared is come upon me and that which I was afraid of is come unto me. Wow. Wow. This is another way. For the thing which I greatly feared is come upon me. And that which I was afraid of is come unto me. Then Proverbs 10 and verse 24. It says, The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him. But the desires of the righteous shall be granted. Wow, wow. I really like these verses. Now, can we just, just, just share some things? Right, so there are certain things to learn. Principles, principles, right? In Hosea 4, 6, God said, For lack of knowledge, my people are perishing, or they perish, right? Principles. Watch this now, for lack of what? Knowledge, or lack of information in words that come in it forms and it brings about an action so it's called information but it's really in form action that's what it really is now in the same same verse Hosea 4 6 in the new living translation the, um, the bible says my people are destroyed because they don't know me remember we talk about revelation knowledge right now in god's word translation it says because my people are ignorant dark 
they are being destroyed so a lack of knowledge or information brings darkness and bring ignorance to truth or spiritual realities which ends up to affect our life right so when god wants to bless and to increase and to 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 elevate a man he gives him the spirit of the blessing wow wow you notice god gives what the spirit of the the blessing now watch this the bible is talking about the bible is talking about is talking here in second timothy 1 7 about the giving of spirits wow ends fear is a spirit Woo! fear is a spirit can i say that again fear is a spirit my god that has a spirit dimension wow 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 so we, we we understand that wow and fear is a spirit and that fear as a spirit dimension and that power as a spirit dimension and that a sound mind high as a spirit dimension in any case in any case there's a distribution of spirit but he's not only saying that among the spirits given but he's not only he's saying that among the spirits given god does not give fear wow watch this so when god wants to cause your mind to be sound he does not give you information no sir no there's a spirit dimension there's a transaction that must happen in the realm of the spirit and then it will manifest as a sound mine wow 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 i love this 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 if fear comes to you it does not come to you as a psychological reality as they taught in the natural the spirit is sent my god let me say that again so if fear comes to you it does not come to you as a psychological reality no the spirit is sent or a spirit is sent when that spirit gets a hold of you ah when that spirit gets a hold of you let me see what will happen it will take advantage of your faculty of expression mm -mm. and you may begin to act on or react to what you may think is psychological but it's called fear very powerful indeed very powerful don't you think so so the bible says he has not, he has not given to us a spirit of fear all spirits are given and all spirits are received wow 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 that god can give you something so it so if fear is at work in a man it means that somehow you have received it whether you are aware of it or you are not aware anything given has to be received to find expression so if you don't receive it it cannot find expression within my god my god my god my god look at this now so fear can come from a thought right so fear first can approach you as a thought no i teach that behind every voice or behind every thought is a voice because there is no thought in the realm of the spirit only talk 
So behind every thought that you receive, there is a voice. Behind every voice, there is a spirit. And only the word of God used as my measuring rule can I safely discern or differentiate whose voice and the spirit that is behind the voice. Wow, wow. So that is something we really have to take into consideration as we go forward. That behind every thought that there is, there is in the natural, it's called a thought. But in the realm of the spirit, it's a voice. It's a talk. So a thought is really a talk. So whenever there's a thought that is sent to me, there is a voice that is producing. There's a voice that is speaking. For example, if a thought come and the thought said to you that you will never make it, don't even try and apply. You will not get the job. Don't uh, worry to go to get your visa because they will just turn you down as always. No, you hear it in the natural as a thought. But in effect, that's a talk. It's a voice. Somebody is behind the voice that is speaking. And the sooner we develop ourselves to begin to perceive whose voice or the spirit that is operating behind the voice is the faster we will understand whose voice. Is it God or is it from the devil? Wow, wow. Now in John 1 and verse 12, it says, As many as receive him, Jesus you shall receive power that is very powerful can we look at it so receiving jesus you receive an expression of him to express himself through you with power ah but if you don't receive jesus then the spirit cannot find expression wow so you are without power Wow, and that's why Galatians 5 and verse 16, it says, Walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. The Passion Translation declares, As you yield to the dynamic life and power of the Holy Spirit. So to yield to him is receiving him. You receive what? A dynamic life and power. It says, when he know, when you yield or give him access, it says you abandon the works of the flesh. The Holy Spirit is now expressing himself, my God, through an individual that gives him allowance or yield, the image and the character. So he's now expressing himself through you, the image of our Lord Jesus Christ and the character of our Lord Jesus Christ. What a thing. Wow, I love that. I love that. I love that. I hope I'm pretty clear to us right here. So the Bible says, God has not given to us a spirit of fear. All spirits are given and all spirits are received. Right, right. So whether you are aware of it or not, anything given has to be received to find expression. And then it said the Bible is now making it clear that God has not given to us the spirit of fear. This is a very powerful revelation. Whatever you have not gotten, the spirit of you have not gotten that reality of that thing therefore if the spirit of revelation is not upon you you cannot have or walk in revelation no matter how much you read the spirit is what empowers or expresses itself himself to you so if it's not on you all you have is knowledge or information if the spirit of the blessing 
the spirit of wealth of the kingdom does not come and rest upon you then no matter what you do physically it will not give or find expression what a thing wow 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 so it's a giving of spirit so god says i have not given to you the spirit of fear no so if we are fear in our life where did we get fear from that's a question where did we get fear from no in the book of exodus and verse and exodus 31 exodus chapter 31 reading from verse 1 to 6 look at this so we are talking about the spirit coming right and if the spirit if we don't receive it then he cannot express himself and we said if the spirit of the blessing the spirit of wealth of the kingdom does not come upon you then no matter what you do physically it will not give its expression cool now in exodus 31 exodus 31 and verse 1 to 6 it says and the lord spake unto moses saying see i have called by name Bezalel and the son of Uri, the son of Ur of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the spirit of God. Listen you now. I, Jehovah, have filled him with the spirit of God in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship. To what? To devise, verse 4, cunning works, the work in gold and in silver and in brass and in cutting of stones, to set them and in carving of timber, to work in all manner of workmanship. Verse 6, and I, that's God, behold, I have given him, given with him a Aholiab, the son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan, and in the hearts of all that are wise hearted i have put what wisdom that they may make all that i have commanded thee wow 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 so you hear god says i put the spirit upon them and then what did these men do now these men begin to make furniture for the tabernacle and with fine craft and art so the spirit has come upon them my god i can go further there now can we look in 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 quickly in exodus 35 exodus 35 from 33 to 35 and just let us look at what this is saying exodus 35 verse 33 yeah it says and in the cutting of stones to set them and in the carving of wood to make any manner of cunning work verse 34 and he hath put in his art that he may teach both he and aholiab the son of ahisama of the tribe of Dan, them hath he filled with what wisdom of heart to work all manner of work of the engraver and of the cunning workman and of the embroider in blue and in purple, in scarlet and in fine linen, and of and of the weaver, even of them that do any work, and of those that devise cunning work. Wow, wow, wow! I love this. So as I said, if the spirit of blessing, the spirit of wealth of the kingdom does not come upon you, then no matter what you do physically, it will not find expression. Wow, this is very powerful. Did we know that all of these was in the Bible? My God. Now in 1 Corinthians 12, 4, 11, 1 Corinthians 12 and verse 4, right let me just look at what this is saying it's saying listen this listen this now there are diversities of gifts but the same spirit and there are differences of administrations but the same lord and there are diversities of operation but it is the same god which worketh in all but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to do what to profit withal for to one is given 
by the spirit of the word of wisdom to another the word of knowledge by the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit to another the working of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning of spirit to another diverse kinds of tongues to another the interpretation of tongues but all these work it that one and the self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he will it is but but for god has not given to us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind so he's talking about the giving of spirit and in all the giving of spirit god did not give us the spirit god did not give us the spirit of fear i want us to get this so whenever fear comes remember god did not give you god did not give i the spirit of fear no, and we want to look a little bit on the giving of spirit. That's what I'm trying to look at. No, Genesis 30 and verse 39. Can we just look at this and see what they said? And the flocks conceived before the rods and brought forth cattle ring steak, speckled and spotted. Genesis 30 verse 39. God gave to Jacob a spirit to move from working for nothing to becoming wealthy my god verse 43 and the man increased exceedingly and had much cattle and made servants and men servants and cattle and asses wow so when a spirit of is given my god and you receive then that spirit now begin to find expression Woo! genesis 31 1 to 3 and he heard the words of laban's son saying jacob hath taken away all that was our fathers and of all that which our fathers had he gotten all his glory and jacob beheld the countenance of laban and behold it was not toward him as before and the lord said unto jacob return unto the land of thy fathers and to the kindred and i will be with thee so when god gives us spirit and the spirit begins to express and you begin to ex expand and increase and become elevated and promoted then comes jealousy then comes envy watch this when god shifts you or elevates you this is what will happen so i'm telling people don't fear don't fear when certain things happen in psalm 1 and verse 1 it says blessed is the man right right blessed is the man now if i use the amplified it says blessed it says fortunate it says prosperous and favored by god with envy and enviable so when god begins to bless if you check the ampc envy envy is at the end my god so god starts to lift people by introducing them to the spirit component of everything he wants to bring them into and every physical dimension as a matching spiritual dimension and that god will grant you access listen to me god will grant you access to the spirit dimension of that reality and then sooner or later you will begin to walk in that reality wow wow so god said to david Ooh. so god said to david i will give this battle but go up by the mulberry tree and wait when you see the tree move with with the sound of marching in the top of the mulberry trees this is your opportunity your chance go out to victory as the lord has gone out before you to smite the army of the philistine so watch this in the spirit dimension there was a corresponding action to match in the earth Woo! god said to joshua go up joshua went to battle in the realm of the spirit there was a corresponding action and the lord rained stones that men head began to split open burst in two for every action in the natural there is a spirit dimension or a correspondent in the realm 
of the Spirit. My God, my God, my God. This is so, 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 so wonderful and so powerful. And I just want us to just understand. I just want us to just understand, understand, right? That God, the Bible said, God has not given to us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, a spirit of love, and of a sound mind. Wow, wow, wow. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. So I said, if the spirit of blessing, the spirit of wealth of the kingdom does not come upon you, then no matter what you do physically, it will not give it expression. Watch this. Our bodies were designed as a vacuum to carry spirits. Our body, the Bible said, is a temple of the Holy Ghost. It carries spirit. So every spirit that is not of God seeks a body to express themselves through or express their assignment through. Do we understand that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if your body is not carrying the spirit of God, then another spirit will express themselves through it and we can see this daily so death is a spirit watch this death is a spirit and before physical death happens there is a proposition in the realm of the spirit and somehow if for any reason you receive that spirit then what you receive will begin to manifest or become activated how do I know I have received it? By my saying, by the thoughts, by my dreams, I begin to talk more about death. Right, so, 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 so once I receive it by my saying, I will begin to have thoughts. Now watch it. So death will not come immediately, but death will true fear fear will open doors to other spirit like depression so death will allow fear to come in and fear opens the door to depression or death now bring about certain circumstances and situation around you that will open the door that will that fear will open to depression depression now will open the door to others right hi somebody get this somebody get this somebody get this so when the spirit of death has arrived then he comes in through fear first my god then he brings in depression so it will bring about situation around you that um, will bring about and let you feel depressed which is a mental state in which a person is feeling and uh, having feelings of great unhappiness and hopelessness. So that's how depression comes in. Then when depression comes in, it opens the door, right, for despair, which is the complete loss or absence of hope. This brings in another spirit called despondent, which will become very sad and without hope. Then now defeat comes in, and defeat is a person who gives in to difficulties or failure easily you become tired you become fatigued you become weary then it opens the door to heaviness which is gloom burden you become disgusted crying often and sadness and then it opens the door and talks about suicide then death presents itself am i talking to somebody i pray that you will listen to what i have to say today Life, death is a spirit. Life is also a spirit. That it's possible, that it's possible you can receive it. Life, and no matter what the barrier is, the reality of it will come upon you that life will come. So it doesn't matter how hard or difficult the situation becomes, guess what? Life 
begins to express itself through you my god and you will never never give in or surrender watch this favor favor is also a spirit oh it is not just a goodwill it's not just a goodwill that means that goodwill that means the spirit can come upon you and that spirit favor himself will alter your behavior alter your mannerism alter your attitude and alter those around you to begin to reflect favor that wherever you go my god wherever you go watch this people just can't help but favor you it's a spirit that is expressing himself the characteristic of spirit is that they use bodies and they use minds for expression wow 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 watch this i just said something the characteristic of spirit is that they use bodies and they use minds for expression now there is a singer a popular singer that one day she began to talk on youtube and she began to tell and she says whenever i enter the stage to perform i go as my own self but the minute i enter the stage another spirit just come and takes over and that spirit expresses themselves through me this means that is a familiar spirit because watch this that spirit probably untimely they took them that person out so the spirit did not get to express itself as it should now this person is also an entertainer but what this person has done is that they have given their bodies to be used and they did not know that that spirit familiar spirit now has entered and begin to express themselves so she said when i am finished the things that they told me i don't know anything about that mean a spirit has entered my god watch this when a spirit is around you when a spirit is upon you or within you it will begin to alter you to reflect it hi 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 it will begin to do what alter you to reflect it so it changes your mode of behavior mm -mm. look at this example if a gentleman has a spirit that makes him steal for instance he may not even know he has received that spirit Woo! watch this everything around him everything around him is reflecting that there is an influence higher and greater than him com compelling him to steal if you hide money in the most secret place he should know why is this the spirit like word of knowledge woo, will cause him to bend slither under and take that money out he doesn't have to know he's being led because he has received that spirit and i know exactly from experience what this is saying that's why i can teach like this i remember when i was a young man and i was going to was it high school or primary school but i was up there and watch what happened one day i wanted some money to went go somewhere with my friends i didn't have the money no i didn't know that money was being kept in the house and watch this i just begin to look around look around and i said i need some money and it's like something drove me to a specific book there was about seven to eight books put together and and something drove me now i know that it was the spirit that it, um it drove me to took to take out an exact book 
when I take the book out, I didn't turn one, two, three, four pages. Then immediately as I put my finger and I opened the book, I saw money. That's why it was money that my stepfather had hidden to purchase something for the home. Or he had a business. He sold fish and um, ice cream. So the money was put aside for that purpose and I took it. Why? It was a spirit that was expressing himself through me. My God, that's why I can teach like this. Woo-wee! There's a young girl that she, all of a sudden she got up. She want to put tattoo and body piercing. Now, when I confront that girl and I begin to talk with her, she said she don't know. But a spirit came to her in a dream like uh, it, was a, it was a princess from under the sea called Cleopatra. And this person t- told her exactly where to put the tattoos, the various tattoos, the type of tattoos and the body piercing piercing my god my god am i talking right elijah knew this now i'm going bible and when elijah began to pray there was something he was looking for my god that the rain in itself as a spirit component and the moment he started seeing that manifestation he knew something had already been crystallized or formed or set in the realm of the spirit and he began to what run and within a short time there was a thick cloud god has not given to us a spirit of fear god has not given to us a spirit of fear wow 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 god is good and watch this now so when the holy spirit is leading and directing he does so by prompting just as the other spirit will prompt people to do wrong Woo! so you see the photocopying done here so watch this so the holy spirit gives what promptings signals frequencies impression and impulses we that are in the natural we call this a nudging i feel the nudging i feel the burden i feel a weight my god my god my god my god my god so at the first information is that a man begins to rejoice when the spirit of your result has been received that every result and every dimension has a spirit component and that when you have it it is a reality so that's why when you pray and you believe god and that no component of the spirit it you you can rejoice not seeing the manifestation of the thing just yet but you believe hallelujah god has not given to us a spirit of fear he has not given to us a spirit of fear where did you get it throw it out cast it out god has given to us only a spirit of power love and a sound mind is a good god